Well, hello, YouTube. Looks like I got you there. How about Facebook? Are we on Facebook yet? Let's see here. Looks like it. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. I keep wanting to say happy Friday, but it's Thursday. It's time for our crafty challenge. I've got a cute little project for you today. Let me get my microphone here. Sometimes I leave it hanging close to me, but not on. There we go. There we go. You guys should be able to see and hear me now. Say hello when you find me. Happy Thursday, everybody. Aha, uh -huh. there I am. Found me on Facebook. All right, I got Facebook, I got YouTube, Now I'm ready to roll. How about you guys? Are you ready for some crafting? I've got a really cute project for you. It's part of my five-part series on carnival treats. I couldn't resist these um, carnival treats from Stampin' Up! It's what I think is going to be the last host set, host exclusive stamp set from Stampin' Up! The rewards program is changing if you haven't heard. Um, they don't tell us when it's changing. They just tell us that it's changing. Um, and I don't think that there will be any host exclusives anymore because there's not any in the new catalog. So. This one is from the, let's see here. I'm gonna slide my little projects aside. Isn't it cute the way it's all set up? I'm gonna slide these guys aside for just a minute. Um, this is Carnival Treats. It's the host exclusive from the January, April mini catalog. It's on page, mm, let's see here, 79. And you can't buy carnival treats, you can only redeem it with your host rewards. So with an order of $150, that's when you start earning host rewards. You don't have to have a party. It can be just you um, placing a larger order or you can team up with some friends. But at $150, you get 10% Stampin' Rewards and the Stampin' Rewards can then be exchanged $14 of Stampin' Rewards can be exchanged for Carnival Treats stamp set. All right, so that's how you get that one. And if you place that $150 order, you don't have to redeem Carnival Treats because maybe you already have this. But if you place a $150 order with me in the month of April, I'm gonna send you a class packet for all the projects that you see in this series. There's five of them. And for a mini, in-color mini sampler where you get two pages of each color designer series paper, you'll get um, two feet of each in color ribbon and you'll get two strips of um, the shimmer gems so you get a little sampler pack that you can use for your projects so that's that's my shameless bribe right now Stampin' Up! will give you the stamp set for $150 order and I will give you the class packet <laughs> Tony says shared so cute I love your little donut eraser mini box too cute <laughs> so much fun I found these on Amazon and could not resist. I bought them back in December, you guys. Um, they're just too adorable. They're erasers. And um, I knew exactly what I was doing with them. I just need more hands around here. That's all. So they're cute little erasers. Let me show you. So here's a little box that we're making. This is our challenge today. If you're a member in the craft social, I want to see what you do with this box. I'll tell you right now, I know that four dove promises fits in this box also so make the box decorate it up let us know what treats you find that fit and then share in the craft social there will be prizes you have until tuesday to share your little mini donut box with us and um i'll post a picture that looks kind of like this kind of like this and when you, when you see that in the craft social, just add your donut boxes to the comments and share with us what you do with this treat box. All right. Hey, Debbie, 
Debbie says, glad you're feeling better. Oh my goodness. I, Sunday night, I came down with a fever. I, last Monday, I had an earache and I thought I was going to have to call off everything for a week. Not this Monday, last Monday. I felt so bad and I got a hold of myself by, um, Wednesday, I was feeling all right. We were working on Card Club for Cool People, me and my friend Katie. Thursday, Friday, I went live, and when I was talking, I'd get a tickle in my throat and coughing. Sunday, I came down with a fever, but the fever broke by Monday. I was fever-free again, but I'm still feeling a little achy, and yeah, a little achy, tired, but I feel much better than I did Sunday. I don't know where that fever came from, just out of nowhere. Oh, thank you very much. I'm um, definitely feeling better. All right, let's see. How are you guys doing? Ready to do some crafting? Sally says, hi, everyone. Hi, Sally. Tony says, because of you, I make boxes all the time. Currently putting another 50 packets to teach boxes. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm glad I inspire you. Brenda! How are you, my friend? Happy Thursday, everyone. Jan says, happy Thursday, everyone. Oh, you guys, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for spending some time with me. All right, let me, I showed you what we're making. I told you how to get the packet for free. I'll send it to you automatically when I see a $150 order come through. Now, here's the thing. I can only order, there are limits in pre-order to how much of the in-color stuff I can get can only get so many of consumable products. So there is a good chance that your packets will go out to you in May. We've already had that many orders. And so just know that you you should start to expect these maybe mid-May because of the pre-order limits on the products that I'm using to make it. We're using basic beige, beige cardstock, which is brand new. There's a pre-order limit on that one. Then we're using the um, In Color Designer Series paper and ribbon and the In Color Shimmer Gem. So let me show you the coordinating card. If you missed the card, we did this one last week. Here's the matching card. So here's our card and our treat box together. And you can see those shimmer gems. And because of the pre-order limits, the packets are going to take us a little bit to put together because it's going to be a little bit before we can order the quantities that we need, okay? Um, this is project number one, project number two. The um, project sheet for this one is already on the blog. These will all be available on the blog for you to go back and make your projects once you get your packet. So um, number project number three, we're gonna make this one tomorrow. This is a fun sleeve for pencil. I got this one on Amazon too, a little popcorn pencil. There's your little popcorn on the sleeve. This sleeve is great for pens, pencils, nail files. You can do all kinds of stuff with this little sleeve treat. Slim, easy to make a lot of these. We're gonna do this one live tomorrow. I'll see you back here again at noon. That's project number three in the packet. Project number four in the packet is another card. This You Brighten My Days Slurpee card. Do you guys call them Slurpees or Icies? I wanna know. I call them Slurpees. My favorite is Ecto Cooler. I don't think they make it anymore. The Ecto Cooler one might show my age, huh? <laughs> but, and I will be doing this dotted embossing for you. It's with that brand new folder. Have you guys seen this Jigundor folder? Hold on, wait till you see. Yes, I did just make up that word. Not just make up that word, Jigundor. Oh my gosh. All right, let me show you. So this is the folder. And do you see how big this is? This is the number four. Look, it's huge. But I will run that through the embossing folder. We don't usually emboss our packets because we like card club for cool people. We'd have to emboss hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. So we don't usually emboss. But for this packet, because it is a little bit more, it is a little bit more exclusive. They've got to do a $150 order. But Stampin' Up! is going to give you the stamp set. I'm going to give you the, the project and the um, in color sampler. So it's a, it's a good, it's a, it's an interesting make and take offer. And I hope that you guys like it. A lot of, a lot of you have taken me up on it. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, there are a couple of you who have asked me some questions just in the last day or two. After live today, I'm gonna go find and track you down. Okay, so if you've got questions and you're waiting for an answer, 
please forgive me. I'm running on, on half the cylinders, but I I saw your questions. Um, dotted circles, 3D embossing folders, what that one's called, by the way. And it's a pre-order item. <laughs> Brenda says, I just ordered that folder today. It is so cool. I mean, look at the, look at the way it like, you can use it to kind of frame, to radiate. I, um, I'm loving it, but it'll be a good way to see it for real. Brenda calls it an icy. <laughs> what do you call them? Icies or Slurpees? All right. So anyways, this is my, oh, I should show you this too. These are the pencils. I got these on Amazon. I put the, the links. I don't think these are available currently. Hopefully they'll come back, but I'll include a pencil. I'll include three donuts. And I will also include a sleeve of the cotton candy double bubble in your class packet as long as well as your sampler and your um, in color sampler and your projects. And this is the last one. This is project number five. This little box holds the sleeve of cotton candy bubble gum. All right, so that's the whole series. I'll be back tomorrow with number video, video number two in the series. Hmm. All right, hold on. What three do I want to put in there? I think I want to put hmm, maybe like that. All right, so you're going to get three assorted donuts in your packet. This is how these guys came. I think in a bag of 30. Yeah, bag of 30. And I put the links to those if you're interested in looking for them. All right, let's get started. Let's get crafty. Let me look at the comments. This is what we're making. Cute little donut box. Oh, fun. <laughs> oh, I knew the minute I saw this stamp set that I had to have it. And then I got on Amazon and found these and knew that this was the project. So it's just been a while in getting to make it. Um, we've got basic beige cardstock for the base. And it's four and a quarter by six and nine sixteenths. All right. Kathy says, so cute. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like it. Brenda says, finishing up my vacation at home crafting. Oh, how fun. Hi, Kathy. I'm glad you're here. All right, let me pop over this side to YouTube and see if I can see the comments there. Hey, Melanie, how are you? <laughs> um, tell me again what I need to complete your projects. These particular projects, Melanie, like a list of supplies, is that what you're looking for? Um, give me some more details on that while I grab my Simply Score tool and my trimmer. I'm gonna slide these guys aside because I need to score but we're gonna score on a 16th for this one because we want the lid of the box to spit over the base of the box easily. And so we're gonna need to score. You could do the whole thing on your trimmer if you want to. I like my Simply Score tool better, so I'm gonna do everything but the six and one sixteenth on the Simply Score tool. All right, so let me show you how I'm gonna do this. We're gonna start with the basic beige in the Simply Score tool on the, there we go, six and nine sixteenths side. And nine sixteenths, by the way, is one bloop after six and a half, one dash, one bloop after, okay? I know that um, if you're like me, that's kind of how you think of sixteenths is as dashes or bloops or blips or whatever they are and that's so one more after six and a half all right so we're gonna score at one half one three and a quarter and three and three quarters then we're gonna rotate to the four and a quarter side and score at one half and one on both sides um, just the stamp set name I missed it for this project stamp set for this one is carnival treats I'm gonna pull this out of here then I'm gonna to switch to my paper trimmer. But before I switch to my paper trimmer, let me get flashy that one. It's the host exclusive from the January, April mini catalog. So that's the stamp set. Now, if you're gonna do the whole set of projects, you're gonna want some sentiments. This one doesn't have a sentiment. I just did a little tag with a heart. But let me show you where the sentiments came from for all the rest of the projects. All the rest of the projects got the sentiments from bright skies 
So what I did was, of course, with the donut sprinkled with love, and then with the cotton candy box and the pencil sleeve, I shortened down sprinkled with love, just did some masking, cut it out with a one and a quarter inch circle. So there's the with love sentiment. And then on the last one, you brighten my days. That's also from Bright Skies. I just masked off cloudy. All right, so does that help you? If you're gonna make the whole project, so you might want to pick up Bright Skies if you don't have that. Or think about what stamp sets you have and what sentiments you have. All right, so we've done all but the last score. And now we're gonna use the stamp the Stampin' Up paper trimmer here. Let me get this so that you can see. And we are going to park this cutting blade all the way up here because we need to score at six and one sixteenth. We don't need to cut at six and one sixteenth. If you cut at six and one sixteenth, then you have to start over again. So park your blade where you can't make that mistake. I don't know who made that mistake twice. Anyway, so now we need to put this back into the trimmer and you want the half inch and one inch scores on your, oh gosh, I use it upside down. Okay, so maybe once you want to use your trimmer upside down too, just so that you get this one right at the, at the um, first try but you want those in your right hand, and then you're gonna move this out to six and one sixteenth. That's six plus one dash, and then you're gonna give it a score. Now you could do the whole entire thing on your paper trimmer if you don't, if you wanna score that way. But I love my Simply Scored much better than my paper trimmer. Did that all make sense to you guys? All right, let's take a look. You guys, oh, I got some thumbs up. Does that all make sense to you guys? All right, let's go ahead and work these with a bone folder and trim according to the template. And then we're gonna put it together with some tear and tape. Here's what we're making. If you're just joining us, cute little donut boxes. Holds three of these little donut erasers. And we're using the Carnival Treats stamp set. All right, so we're gonna do all of these score lines. And I do like to do them both ways. Some people ask, why do you score both ways? And really, it's because if you have dry cardstock, dry climate, maybe it's a little bit older, it's maybe not a color that you use very often, and it's gotten a little the paper fibers can um, stretch and look ugly or even crack and break. So when you turn it the second direction, so you turn it inside out, you get a really perfectly smooth fold, no stretching, no cracking. And so I fold it or I burnish it inside out first and then right side in. It's just a habit. Now, the habit for me developed when I was working more with printed cardstock, ones with a white core, because if it cracks and you've got white core cardstock, you're gonna see that white. But that's, that's the reason. People ask me all the time why I score and then burnish both ways, and that's it. All right, I got my two score lines, so half inch and one inch in my left hand, and I'm going to take these two squares right here and cut them out. So just a tiny little bit of an angle and then cut out those two squares on both sides. And then, all right, so this is our challenge for this week over at the Craft Social. If you make this treat box share, you'll see a place at the top pinned to features in, in the Craft Social. And we wanna see what you make with this cute little treat box. We also wanna know what you find that fits in this cute little treat box, all right? So I know four Dove Promises fit. All right, now you see we left that little square and then cut out the other. So we're gonna leave this one, cut this one out. And so I'm gonna go down two score lines and then 
cut out the score line and then I'm gonna cut off the square. That one's just a little. The tip of the scissors is dull. It's time for some new paper snips around here, I think. All right, slide those aside. So now we've got to this place here. We're gonna leave these two rectangles, the long ones, and we're going to cut out all of these. So square, rectangle, square. We're gonna go down two score lines, and then we're gonna cut this one off here. And then same thing on this side, up two score lines, and then cut off square, rectangle, square over here. Now these squares are glue tabs, so I like to make them kind of beveled, like a tra trapezoid shape. So I'm gonna cut a little angle, and then straight, and get rid of the score line. Same thing here, a little angle, and then straight here and a little angle. And these squares are glue tabs. So we're going to liberate those guys, so cut kind of straight along the rectangle and make this a little bit beveled. We're gonna do the same on both sides. All right, so, <laughs> Tony says, the popcorn pencils are currently unavailable, but I have the cotton candy gumballs and donut erasers in my cart, lol, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love Oh my gosh, you guys, I love Amazon for that kind of stuff. Enjoy making treat boxes with them. If you've got the Carnival um, Treats stamp set, if you pick that one up with your host rewards, you will have endless treat making with a simple search of Amazon. I'm telling you, there are so many fun things that you can do for treats with this stamp set. So don't miss out on it. It is a host exclusive, so you have to do that $150 order. You can always maybe um, do the $150 order with a friend. Um, there is a lot going on with the last chance sale right now. So it's a really good time to get a lot of value for your $100. And please don't forget, a lot of basics um, are are increasing in price. So now's the time to get your card stocks. They're going up. Oh, it's it's sickening. Everything's going up everywhere. But card stock is going up. Um, punches, if you have your eye on a punch, all the punches that are carrying over are going up a dollar or two. But all the punches that are not carrying over, well, practically, are on sale. $11 punches right now. So go and get your punches. Um, and you'll get a lot of value for your money if you're shopping right now for that $150 uh, workshop order to get the Carnival Treat stamp set. All right, so this box, this is important. On the outside of the box, your glue goes on the small glue tabs. On the inside of the box, your glue goes on these long rectangles. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assemble this guy and the bottom of the box is the ones with this extra little rectangle. It folds in to reinforce the box. It really is a nice sturdy box because of this um, simple little detail. So what we're gonna do is to form the bottom of the box, we're gonna take four tabs, the front tabs, so these two, and then the middle tabs, these two, and we're gonna take the adhesive off and we'll form up the bottom of the box. All right, they have popcorn erasers that you can put on regular pencils. I may have to do that one. Yes, and you know what else? They have little popcorn buckets that are just erasers, and then they have one that is popcorn bucket that is an eraser, and then the bottom is a pencil sharpener and, but it comes in an assorted one where there's like a, col a cola, uh, popcorn, and there are pencil sharpeners in the bottom of the thing, and then the top is erasers. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. 
<gasps> I love Amazon. I do. And well, I don't like Amazon at all, if I'm honest with you. But you can find stuff like nowhere else on Amazon and all delivered right to your door. All right, so we brought the front tabs up. We're bringing the back tabs up and we're forming the bottom of the box. All right, so the, the lid is still um, unassembled, but we've got the bottom formed. Now we're going to take off the long adhesive strips and reinforce the sides of the box. Too many cute things, so much to choose from, right? And then the donut stuff, oh my gosh, I was in there and I found scented pencils, donut scented pencils. Oh, there's these cute little pens and they're like um, the fine felt tip pen like you get from um, the Japanese stationery. You know, they're really nice like fine felt tip pen and they're pink and white and at the end of the pen they have a little donut dingle oh my gosh there's so much stuff on there mm. all right so we're gonna then tuck these in and now we've got a nice strong reinforced bottom now for the top I want to take my snips and cut an angle here because we don't want wings you can do this after you form the top of the box too but this doesn't adhere down anywhere because if it did you wouldn't be able to open the box or you wouldn't be able to close it depending on where you adhered it down so we want to angle those so that you get like that minimum wing effect <laughs> so we're gonna just bevel those and then remove the adhesive liner on the tabs and then we'll make the top of the box i'm going to grab a half inch circle punch here and i'm going to cut a little thumb notch Oh my gosh, is this going to end in disaster? If you guys watch me, you know I never do this without marking center first. Okay, just hold your breath and own it. I can't tell. My eyes are on crooked. Maybe I did okay. <laughs> All right, so let me grab my take your pick tool. We'll remove that liner and close up the lid. And then... We're gonna get some designer series paper. Okay, so the tab goes in. I'm gonna fold this nice and square. And there we go. Ah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna just trim that up a little bit so I got a nice, I can see the tab a little bit. I didn't make quite enough angle on my tab there oh isn't that a cute little box oh my gosh i hope you guys like it there it is now just put your thumb right in that notch and lift so cute and it holds three little donuts i mean this would make anybody smile let's let's just face it if you found that on your desk would you not just smile if somebody handed that to you, would you not just be like, oh my gosh, you made my day. All right, let's make a donut. Let's make a donut. I'm going to pop over here really quick just to see how we're doing on YouTube. All right, I don't see a lot of comments going on on YouTube. I just checked two devices, so hopefully it's just because it's quiet, but it's not because I'm ignoring you. I've got a little bit more action going on on Facebook, so we're going to keep those. All right. So let me just pull this back again, just in case you're just joining us. We are doing a series of treats and cards. It's five projects total, three treats, two cards, and it's featuring the Stampin' Up! Carnival Treats stamp set. So we're going to now make this sprinkle donut. I think I think it's my favorite image in the set, although I can't wait to do stuff with the hot dogs. Um, we're Chicago area. I'm in the Chicago area, if you didn't know that, in like home of Portillo's, the hot dog. Um, I don't know. I think, I think most of the country recognizes the name. I know that they've started to pop up all over the country, but I think a nice um, gift card there. And if you are familiar with Chicago area, like legendary dog stands like Super Dog or Gene and Jude's 
my husband loves those kinds of places so I think I might have to do a gift card holder and uh, give him some some gift cards for for his favorite his favorite dog stands I'm gonna do my donut just like we did for the last for the card video um, I'm gonna stamp it twice I'm gonna cut out the center using an exacto knife I did finally remember to order the craft crafters tips for my take your pick tool so this will be the last time that I have to use my grungy old exacto knife from college <laughs> it is a little grungy it's still pretty sharp but it's a little grungy to to do the center of my donuts but I'll I can't wait to get them so I can give you guys a review I had never really thought about you know buying them but then the donuts came along and I do want to cut out the center of the donuts so the little crafters tip um, with the exacto screws into the putty end of the take your pick tool and yeah I really I can't wait to get it I think Friday I've got an order coming Friday and I think it's on that order I think I have five orders coming I don't know what's wrong with me I keep forgetting something and then I place another order do you guys do that do you forget something and then have to go place another order because <laughs> I keep doing it all right let me do the exacto knifing part I'm gonna just grab a self-healing mat I got a little self-healing mat here and this can be done with your glass mat if you've got your glass mat and my look at this is from my college days and all I'm gonna do is just on this white line I'm going to trace around and move the paper not just the knife you'll get a smoother cut so when you're using an exacto knife you don't want to hack around it using your your wrist that's when you get those corners and edges instead of a smooth curve you want to turn your paper as much as you turn your wrist so if you don't use one of these very often and you feel like oh I can't get a smooth cut that's um, part of it is probably that you're not doing that coordination between turning the paper and turning your wrist all right we got the center that cut out and the reason why we did that is because the cake shows because of the perspective that we're looking at on the inside of the donut. And I wanted that to be pecan pie. And sometimes I get a little just so about things. It has to be just so. And that was one of them. So I just cut out the center there. You could probably stamp it and then take a pecan pie Stampin' Right marker and color this over with brown. I bet it would cover and it might work, but I don't have a pecan pie Stampin' Right marker because I have all the old style of Stampin' and Write markers, and the Pecan Pie was part of that 30 core color Stampin' and Write markers that you could get. So you can make your old marker set have all the new colors, core colors, that 30 pack. But I like everything to be the same, and so I never bought the new core color Stampin' and Write because then they wouldn't be the same as all my other Stampin' Write markers. And why did Stampin' Up have to go and change a good thing anyway? Is kind of how I was feeling. And I didn't want some that were one style and some that were the other. But when I was at Onstage, one of the things that um, Stampin' Up gifted me was the in color Stampin' Write markers. So I didn't buy the in color last year. I didn't buy the core colors, so I don't have a pecan pie marker to try just coloring over it. Because if you had a pecan pie marker and you just colored over it on the pink layer, maybe you wouldn't have to do the exacto knife. You know what I mean? So, anyways, back to my gift. They gave me the in colors, this 2024, 2026 in colors. And so that was the first time I got to see the new Stampin' Right markers the new configuration so let me show you this so this brush end that's going to be what you're used to so if you have the old style that's good but the bullet end is now a felt bullet instead of let me show you mine the bullet and then my old one instead of like the ink fed 
it's like a plastic tip where the ink is fed down. Instead, now it's completely a felt bullet. These are amazing. I am actually considering, I don't know when I do it, it'd have to be um, at an advantageous moment, but I am thinking about uh, putting my old ones out to pasture and getting new Stampin' Right markers, but I don't know. These are just, they're lovely, and it took Stampin' Up giving them to me for me to try them because I didn't want some markers that were one style and some that were the other. Is anybody else like that? Anybody else like want everything to be the same? Like it, it kind of goes like with the, I, I can't, if I lose a, a die or a stamp um, or the plastic that goes over the um, uh, photopolymer, like if I, if I, it's like, it's not complete. It's not all the same. It's not complete. And it bothers me. I have to put it out of sight, you know? And so I just never embraced the new style because I have the old style. But I think I'm going to get the new style ones. Besides, some of my uh, markers are pretty dry, especially that bullet tip. They would dry, they're dry up completely. And the brush still works, but not the bullet. So they're not, they're not nice anymore. And I bought them in 2016. So I've also had them for seven years or so. Oh, you guys, you know how when you've got a little clog in the glue bottle and you're squeezing and you're like, uh-oh, this isn't going to end well because you can tell that the glue is just ready to come flying out. I'm having that moment. Oh, here we go. All right, we're going to do this off camera because it's just going to go. And I got a paper towel over here. All right, there. See, it's just going. Ugh. This poor glue. It's going to be everywhere. Poor glue, what am I saying? Poor me, I'm the one that's just got glued myself to a paper towel. <sighs> I love liquid glue because I've got some time to move things, but I hate liquid glue because it's so sticky. And, okay, stop, stop, stop. And then I got a hair stuck to my finger. Oh, gross, stop, we're not gonna talk about that. Moving on, another subject. You guys like donuts? <laughs> Look at how cute that is, oh my goodness. <laughs> Tony says, yes, I like things to match too, <laughs> right? I don't know. I got to have all the same. Margaret says, cute box. Hey, thank you, my friend. Look at it. I found these donuts on Amazon. Aren't they cute? Little erasers. Um, this also fits four Dove squares, um, the promises. So I don't know if there's any flavor out there right now, though, that would go really good with the donut motif, but I don't know. That's It's definitely... Uh, an option for filling this box. Uh, let's see. I found a little method because the Summer Splash and uh, Shy Shamrock are so close in color and I wanted an, kind of an even amount of the blue-green but also for the purple-orange colors to be represented on the sprinkles. So what I did was I did about eight or nine of the um, Summer Splash. I gotta keep practicing the names. You'd think that I'd be good at it by now. Then I switch to, I'll do Petunia Pop, and do like six or seven um, sprinkles, and kinda, kinda random, you know? Not quite random. Then I'll do the Peach Pie, and I'll do like five or six Peach Pie sprinkles. And then the last four or five I'll do with the Shy Shamrock because it needs to represent, but if I did like equal numbers of Shamrock and Splash, then it would look like there were mostly blue-green sprinkles and not as many peach and petunia. So <laughs> that was my method. There was a method to it. There's my adorable donut look, you guys. I could make these all day long. I kid you not, I could forget about everything. Don't make dinner, don't take a shower, don't pick up kids. I could just make donuts all day long. <sighs> the things that come out of my mouth. I probably shouldn't have shared that, <laughs> but I could. 
<laughs> I've got some designer series paper from the new in color six by six. You're gonna get a little sampler of these papers if you make a hundred and fifty dollar order. Marissa Alvarez at stampinups.net. And in the packet, you'll get this treat, you'll get some donuts, you'll get two of each color of the six by six designer series paper. So that way you'll have one of every pattern in every color. So let me show you really quick. The one side is like this almost um, Hawaiian floral, it looks like a Hawaiian shirt to me, and then stripe. So you'll get one sheet of that, and then you'll get one sheet of this one that's like kind of a Venetian or, um, and then dots on the other side. So you'll get two of the Pretty in Pink, you'll get two sheets of Peach Pie, two sheets of Shy Shamrock, two sheets of Petunia Pop, and two sheets of Summer Splash. So you'll have every pattern represented in your little sampler. My pieces here are, hmm, I wrote this down in my notebook. Let me grab that and tell you the right measurement. It'll be on the project sheet. That'll be on the blog printable later today, kitchentablestamper.com. But um, the designer series paper for this one is two by one and a quarter, and then two by one. <laughs> Look, can you tell I had a fight with a glue bottle? <laughs> My finger just picked that right up. All right, let's see. I like the new patterns of the paper. Write these six by six designer series paper. The patterns this time are the best. So much better than last year. Oh my goodness. I love them too. Jan says super cute also. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> Kathy says I have the same love-hate relationship with the green glue. And I do love the green glue. Don't get me wrong at all. I love it. But man, it does not dry and it just stays sticky. All right, so I'm gonna put the bigger piece on the top, the littler piece on the bottom, leave a even border, top, bottom, left and right. And there's your all different. I used all different, let's go like that. I used all different and I'm gonna use a different ribbon now here too. So you're gonna get two feet of each in your packet. So you'll have all of the them to choose from. I think I'm gonna eliminate the Shy Shamrock and the Petunia Pop because those are the ones that I used for designer series paper and the frosting is pretty in pink. This one's peach pie, so we're gonna go with the Summer splash this time. <laughs> and your little treats will be as unique as you are too. All right, let's see. Nina says, newbie, cute project. Hey Nina, I'm glad you're here. Welcome. Oh my goodness, since you're new here, I'm gonna glue some ribbon to the top of this box and then I'm going to assemble this tag by putting this on with dimensionals and then I'm going to tie the tag with some linen thread. But while I do that, I'm going to let you know a little bit about this. All right, so every other Thursday I go live at two o'clock and on that Thursday um, live, I challenge my viewers to make the project, whatever project it is I shared last time, so two Thursdays ago, I made an easy easel card and I challenge you to get your Stampin' Up! supplies and make the project. So this time, this little donut box. But what we want you to do is come to the Craft Social. It's our little corner of Facebook and share your project. And there's prizes and an awesome community and a whole lot of fun. So if you're looking for a place to try the project and then show it off with um, some stamping friends. Come and join us in the craft social. Make this treat box and come join the challenge. You have until Tuesday to make your treat box and share to be considered for a prize patrol. But there are challenges like this from years. The craft social has been going for years. There's color inspiration challenges. There's you know, mystery, coffee and a mystery card. There's 
um, tic-tac-toe, there's all kinds of challenges. So if you're looking for a place to, you know, kind of get your, your inspiration, come join us on the craft social. All right, so my ribbon is on with tear and tape. My little heart is from the new Hearts and Hugs dies and it's brand new it's a part of a bundle with a really cute animal stamp set but this is the hearts and hugs and this is the little die that i use to cut that there's two of those so you can make four of these little hearts at one pass and they have a cute little radiated um, stitch radiated slit design do you see the detail in there so just really cute. I call those paper embellishments, and you can make a lot of these paper embellishments at one time with those four hearts on two dies. I love to use my scraps this way. All right, so we've got our tag assembled linen thread. Um, Melanie says, Marissa, I'm looking for a tiny happy birthday to put on the oval punch. Any ideas? Huh, let me think about that for a little bit. A tiny happy birthday. I wonder, and you'd probably want it stacked. Happy birthday, maybe not wide. Well, long if it was a short, small enough font. Interesting. All right, let me think on that one for a little bit. Molly <laughs> well, says you make me laugh. <laughs> oh, good. We all need more of that, don't we? All right, so I just threaded the, the tag on. I'm going to, uh, let's see here. Where do I want it? I want it over here. I'm going to. So I've got my, see where my tag is hanging on the excess? I'm going to tie this. So loop, or swoop and tuck, and then pull. Now the nice part is you've got your linen thread tied to your ribbon. Your ribbon is stuck to your box, which makes it really easy now to just put the tag in place. And then you're gonna loop and then swoop over the top, tuck and pull. And now that tag is on exactly where you want it. Got a pretty linen thread bow. And you can cut away the excess. All right, there is our little tag. We need some dimensionals. I want some bigger ones. We put our donut on the box. Can you guys believe we're done? We are done. We did it. All right, so if you're just joining us, here's our little box. It holds little donut erasers. And I got them on Amazon. There is a link there if you wanna check them out. Tony says she's already got them in the cart. <laughs> and I will include them in your make and take packet. Of course, my treats are while well supplies last because I only have a limited number of pencils and they're currently unavailable. But um, if you would like to place that $150 order at marissaalvarez.stampinup.net, don't use a host code. Just go ahead and place your order. And I will make up a packet for these projects for you in a mini in color sampler of designer series paper, gems, and ribbon and send it to you as my thank you gift. Stampin' Up! had a challenge for demonstrators to better their best. They wanna see if we can do our April sales 2023 and um, just a little bit more. And so I'm, I'm up for a challenge. And so this is my bribe. If you'd help me beat my April sales by placing that order, Stampin' Up! will give you carnival treats with your Stampin' Rewards and I will send you a packet to make the five projects one and then we did this one last Friday check that out kitchentablestamper.com you can check that out I'll be back tomorrow with this one so join me at noon tomorrow live here and we'll make this awesome sleeve now this sleeve just like this little box this box will hold so many other little things and I want to know what you put in it but this sleeve is also awesome for any type of pencil some pens it has to be they have to be long enough pens um or nail files so come back tomorrow at noon and we'll make this one and then next friday we're going to do you brighten my days 
And then the Thursday, or is it the Friday after that? I don't know. I have all the dates on them, but in the next, this is my series for the next one, two, three more lives. All right, the whole series. All right, let's see. How are you guys doing? Got any questions? Anything? Anything you need? Um, <laughs> Margaret says, gotta get this donut stamp out and get busy. So cute, right? Hello from Bloomington, Illinois, too. Well, hello. Um, where's the little tag from? Thank you for asking. I actually put it right behind me because I wanted to say something about it. So let's see if it's still here. Yep, I'm going to show you that because the little tag, it's worth its weight in gold, of course. But if you're looking for things that you might have missed from the catalog, this is the Meadow Dies. And that's where the little tag comes from. It's awesome for the silhouette flowers, can totally stand on its own, but there is a coordinating stamp set. But there's also a great label. Here's that little tag. There's two butterflies, so really good die set. Um, stands on its own to get that little tag. Or um, you can coordinate it with the Quiet Meadow, which has this little splatter dude that I use all the time too. So if you're looking for things that you might have missed, these are both retiring. But the meadow dies is where that little tag is from. Good question. All right, patiently waiting for my first order. Can you tell me where to find the pattern paper, page number or item number? I will tell you first the item number, but the page number is wonka doodle too. I've got the package right here. So item number, Melanie, 163777. Now here's the crazy part. I can't crack open the catalog on camera, but it is really hard to find these designer series papers because they are at the way bottom of a weird page. Page 98 at the way, way bottom. And it's with the um, memory keeping stuff too so it's it's not with the designer series papers because they're mostly with their suites like the arrangement of this book is very different and there is no place to look at all the designer series papers and then the designer series papers that have a suite those are easier to find but the ones that carried over or the six by six designer ones are hard to find so 98 help does that help <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, OMG, I got it. I have this die set. I'll get it out and cut a whole bunch of tags. Thanks. You're welcome. You just got a whole lot more value out of that die set, I bet, because I tell you, that's worth its weight, worth its weight in gold. All right, you guys. Um, if you've got any questions about my offer or the project, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com to take me up on my offer. All you have to do is place your order of $150, marissaalvarez.stampinup.net, or more during the month of April. So no matter what, if you place an order of $150 or more during the month of April, you'll get a kit for each project, you'll get 10 pieces of designer series paper sampler, you'll get two feet of each ribbon, so you'll get 10 feet in total that's three and a third yards in your sampler and you'll get um i think it's 30 pieces of the shimmer gems you'll get the treats while supplies last so i'll put the three donuts and the pencil and the sleeve of cotton candy bubblegum but on that part of the offer for this box, I have to say on that part of the offer as well, supplies less because the cotton candy bubble gum and the donuts are still available on Amazon, but my pencils are currently unavailable. So as many as I have pencils, I stocked up though. So if you're thinking about it, come and get it. You'll help me better my best and I will help you uh, get, your, get your craft on. I'll be back tomorrow at noon and we're gonna make that fun this fun pencil sleeve treat that I will love to see. Maybe we'll have two challenges this week because this one is a really good challenge um, 
and for like what fits. So I'll think about that too. Maybe we'll have two challenges Thursday and Friday, but make your little treat boxes. Let me know what fits inside. Share on the craft social. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for spending some time with me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.